this is one of my favorite like facial oils I honestly think this is the best facial oil I've ever tried in my life it's really lightweight I just love the texture and then we have here foundation Lancome Teen Idol Ultra Ultra Fancy Beauty Another Fancy Beauty I got a few mascaras from Opu Some eyeshadow palette from Tarte Lipsticks from Rouge This is Colette Kimalip one With pretty cute rainbow silver-ish glitters Cushions, it's new collaboration with um, Cosar X. Milk makeup, holographic stick, hair fragrance from Mel Stories. Elixir, some eyeshadow from Code, Hins Eyebrow Gel, Hins um, Eyebrow Pencil. I also really love this eyelash color from uh, Dear Dahlia. It actually feels like it's way better than what I used to use which is a shishado okay let's start makeup hello guys this is Dasha I just realized I don't have a mirror I'll be back <laughs> okay haven't been like filming any makeup video in forever right guys <coughs> I even forgot how to put makeup on there could be a little bit of like car noises or something like that but um, yeah just didn't want to film indoor anymore it's like we anyways are stuck inside home so I wanted to show a little bit of more like green stuff and sky putting on some lip balm and it's Melixir 100% vegan lip butter with agave feels good uh, I just finished my skincare with toner and serum and of course it's important to hydrate your skin before you put makeup oh, feels great I would say this is the best facial oil. It's a um, Gelan youth watery oil. It's seriously not sticky at all. It's really lightweight. Feels like you're wearing literally just like quite like like serum. Moving on to moisturizer is Eleven Village, I believe the brand is called or Village Eleven Factory. And I love this moisturizer. The texture is really amazing. And I'm going to go have a lunch with Jonathan's friends, Pubu. What's Pubu? The couple. So apparently it's her birthday. So we're gonna treat them with some nice lunch and cakes and stuff. Now I'm gonna use this... Dude, what is it called? Face roller? Because it's morning right now and I'm a little bit puffy. Uh, this is the painful part okay I really barely wear makeup since the pandemics and since Jeju life and like I personally really hate wearing makeup under the mask oh my skin feels awesome right now I think I'll be talking quite a lot today I should brush my eyebrows first because it looks quite messy so just Using the brush, brushing it nicely. Okay, normally I would wear foundation, but I don't want to wear foundation. So my this day's favorite go-to foundation, I mean, I'm not even wearing foundation, but, but if I have to wear a foundation, I wear this. It just feels like very natural on the face and has really good enough of like dewiness and not too matte and stuff, you know, it's perfect, very natural. Um, so I will probably mix these two products, Cosar X Propolis Ample Cushion, so Sydney collaboration. It's really, really, really good. I mean, like if my skin wasn't tanned, I would probably use it even more. Um, the color is 23. I wish they had like 33 maybe then I would probably uh, Wear it more, but I can use it as a highlighter okay, I'll show the color 
so this is how it's bright okay so what i'm gonna do is just like use tiny ass amount okay sorry tiny amount of product i'm just gonna blend it out and it will give my skin really nice glow brightens up literally like makes it look like i got some like like botox done under my eyes you know what i mean but because the shade doesn't really fit my skin well so i'm gonna use this lancome uh, and the shade is 410 bis bisque w i'm just gonna write it down here okay. okay i'm just gonna use a bit of like foundation just as a concealer and then on top of it i'm gonna use this cushion personally really love the finish of the cushion it's just literally glass skin okay even though i hate wearing this like stuff under the mask i'm still gonna put just really thin layer just using my fingertips i'm just gonna even up my skin tone just using finger is uh pretty good as well because you can melt the foundation with your body temperature and like it just like sets on your skin really nicely i got food breakouts but I'm gonna cover them up a bit later. To be honest, like I'm gonna wear a mask, right? So it like doesn't really matter. Okay, on my forehead as well. Just a little bit of this cushion. And yeah. Okay. Pretty sure there is some blush that I really wanna use, but I have no clue where all my makeups are this day, so I'm just gonna go with this um, Rouge product. So this is Rouge Lestilo Helen. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm reading it correctly. Ooh, okay. I never use it for a blush as a blush. Of course, on my nose bridge. Maybe I'll add up a little bit more after I finish if if it feels like not enough. Okay, I got this from my makeup box. Never tried it before. Ooh. Is it even gonna be noticeable? I don't think so. <sighs> this is lighter than my skin tone. I was going to use it for like like pushing in my lid a bit but I need to go get something new damn it okay new product Tarte Tarte it smells nice okay I'm gonna use this latte shade and oof, just gonna use my fingertips because Uh, lash color is from Diadalia and it's pretty good. Look, whoa! Autumn lashes as well. Ding, ding, ding. Same latte shade. I'm just gonna use this cute tips. Born to be matte proof fixing mascara, and this is lengthening and curling mascara. So, I normally don't really need this like fixers because so the brush is a bit like fat ish for Asian eyes, so it's no issues, huh? It's very similar to Etude. Okay, on the other side, I'm just not gonna use it. And I'm gonna go straight with the mascara. I, I couldn't, I, I wouldn't call it clear, but it does its job. Okay, so this is lengthening and curling mascara. So I'm not gonna have probably that much of volume, but it's okay. I like this type of clean mascaras. Okay, with this one, I wouldn't recommend to go for a second coat because it might get a bit messy because of the fiber. 
But dude, oh, look at this. Pretty good. Ooh, damn, yes. Honestly, I don't see like big difference between using a fixer and no fixer. But maybe throughout the day I will notice the difference. Maybe it might like, you know, fall a little bit. Keen Signature Bro Shaper. This is new. Okay. Um, haven't used this like eyebrow mascaras in a long time since I got my eyebrow lamination wow it's actually really good at holding like fixing the hair it's been quite a long time I think like three weeks maybe since I got my eyebrow lamination so it kind of goes everywhere now but oh it's pretty good at it not bad I think it's also supposed to build a bit of like volumes. And next, I'm grabbing this pencil and just gonna fill in the empty spots. I'm gonna use a concealer now and we will just cover all this like blemishes and stuff. I'm running out of time, so I'm gonna use this powder. Uh, Joni uses it all the time, and she always like, "This is the best powder in the world." And I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna try it too." Mm -hmm. So um, this is like basically probably very similar to Chanel powder that I use. It's actually it is. So it's really lightly. It just bloats the like. It's a bit taco on my face for some reason. Like, it's just like a bloating powder. Looking nice. Okay. <laughs> pali, 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 pali. Just a little bit of highlighter. Milk makeup. Ooh, pretty man. Over here. Obviously, mask will uh, take all away later from my nose bone. Nice. I also really wanted to use this from Colette basically has this lavender silver pearl on here just a little bit of pop I don't think you can even notice it honestly I'm gonna use for lips uh, the style of Mar Gox I don't read French I'm sorry okay just gonna like apply it like like whatever and this is my fingertips so I personally love I'm in love with this texture it's kind of like matte-ish but it's not like cracky matte very comfy on the lips <laughs> the shade is Bikini Lila it has really nice shimmer gonna put on the center of my lips nice <laughs> Worn makeup in a very long time and seeing myself with the makeup on, I'm just like, wow, I'm so pretty. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, but that's what I feel right now. A little bit of more blush. Okay, that's it. I love the makeup. By the way, the rings are my new Kirei Misha collection. I'll be releasing them really soon. They're actually ready to go, but uh, there's still some stuff that I need to take care of. And, okay, dude, 12 o'clock. I'm supposed to be leaving house at 12 o'clock, so I'm gonna run. Thank you guys for watching. I love you. Bye-bye.